Hey guys, Cindy Utter here with my Artsy Endeavors. How are we doing? Um, I'm doing okay today. Yesterday was a rough one, but today's an okay day. Oops, and I'm caught. Um, we're back, and we are back with my story. And I've got some really, really fun and good news for you concerning this little baby right here. So you'll have to keep your eye out throughout the video, and I will tell you. Okay, um... First thing we're going to, I want to get let you know what we're going to talk about today. Let's find our page. Oh, that was self-care. Uh, and this one is the next page. So, um, we're going to leave it just like that. All right. Last, last time, Chapter 14 was self-care. And um, we talked a little bit about that. Now we're going to talk about something a little bit different. Um, this one is going to be about friends, okay? We're going to talk about, um, you know, what happens when you live in chronic pain and your friend does not. So let's start out with the first thing I want to tell you is I want to read this to you. It's by Colin McCarty. And again, this is the You Are Stronger Than You Know, Words of Hope and Encouragement for Someone Living with Chronic Illnesses. And it's from Blue Mountain Arts. And this one says, I love, isn't that a beautiful picture? This one says, when you need some help to get through, when nothing is going right, when you're wondering, what did I do to deserve this? When the day is a disaster and a little serenity is just what you're after. When you need a whole lot less to concern you and a whole lot more to smile about. When a few peaceful hours would seem like a vacation to you and you're wondering if there's anything you've got to look forward to. Sometimes you just have to remember you're going to make it through this day, even if it's one step at a time. Sometimes you have to be patient and brave and strong. If you don't know how, just make it up as you go along. I like that. Because, you know, it's, that is just so true. Um, there's days when you're just, you just can't wait for tomorrow to get here because today's just not a good one. But I like that. Um, this is when you need some help to get through. The next one is about friends. Um, and I'm going to read both of these because they both really do apply. One is says, um, give friends and family the opportunity to support you. Ask for help. Whether you need a hand with running errands or washing dishes, or you just want some company, never hesitate to reach out to family and friends. Allow those who love you to rally around you will lighten your load and warm your hearts. And that is written by Allie Sawyer. And then this one, there's no title to it. It just says, friends and families are most important. During your most difficult moments and exciting triumphs, they stand beside you. Keep them with you always. They will make life's journey much more rich and rewarding, not to mention fun. And this is done by Donna Gephardt. So we're actually going to talk a little bit differently than this on Friends. And we're going to talk about um, what happens when you go from being a whole, I'm going to put that term nicely, nicely, um, a whole person when you become when you're when you go from working in society and I gotta find my gesso. Sorry guys. Um, when you're work, you know you're out and you're working in society. Everything's the way it should be. Everything's normal as what we call normal, right? And um, you end up with an accident or an illness or and. All of a sudden, you're dealing with all this chronic pain. Well, what happens with your friends? You guys all know. You've probably all dealt with it. Some are going to stay. Some are going to go. But what I want to talk about today is those feelings that you endure when all of this is going on. Which means, this must be from the last, the last time, um, all of that... Um, you feel like you're left behind. You feel like, um, you know, people don't call anymore. You feel like you're not invited to things. And it happens. It does. Whoops. Oh, we got some white gesso on the other page. Hold on. Hold on. Let me just clean that off a little bit. That's all right. 
Um, so, you know, it's a difficult journey. It's, it's hard to, I almost put that in my coffee. <laughs> it's, um, it's hard to understand how someone can go from being your great friend and doing things and, um, and just, they like kind of forget you, right? I know you're all shaking your heads going, yep, 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 Cindy, you're right, you're right, yep, it's happened. What are my words of wisdom? Well, let me tell you, I don't have a whole lot. <laughs> um, I'm just going to tell you what I've learned in my experience um, with friends. So let me dry up this gesso, and I will be right back. All right, so um, I'm going to use, this is just, uh, this is called Ink Essentials Glue. It's just a glue. And I've got some Tim Holtz um, tissue paper here. Anyway, so we were talking about friends. Now, you guys, like I said, you all know, you have those friends that just, they can't, you're not, you know, you're not able to go out and do the things that you used to be able to do. And it's almost like they just, they forget you, right? So how do you deal with that? Well, what I have found, the best way I have found is number one you need to um, show them well first of all explain explain what the issue is um, you know if it's close enough friend they they probably already know because they've been with you on this whole journey right but um, you know it, if you feel that they're a dear friend and there's somebody that you want to continue to have in your life Sometimes you just have to sit down and say, hey, you know, this is what's happening. This is why, this is how, this is what's going on. You know, I, I, you know, I can't do these things because of blah, 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 right? So just to give you an example, um, a friend of mine and I used to always do road trips. I'd call her up. I'm like, hey, what are you doing this weekend? She's like, oh, not much. All right. You know, you want to go here, here, and here? Sure. And away we'd go. All right. That doesn't happen anymore. Um, I don't have the ability, my body does not have the ability to get up and just go whenever I feel like it. It's something that has to be completely planned. It has to be, I have to make provisions for it. In other words, I have to make sure that I have enough painkillers, that um, we make sure that there's stops along the way that I'm able to get up and get out and walk around and and do. So, you know, it's not just about, um, it's not just about getting in the car and going anymore. It, it doesn't work like that. So... So what's the first thing you do? You explain to the person. I can't do this and this is why. All right. Now, another thing um, we all like to do. Actually, hang on a second. Let me dry this real quick. And then we can continue while I chat. Hold on. All right. Today I'm playing around with some Dilution paints. Um, this first one is Polish Jade. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Then I have a Funky Fuchsia. And I have a cherry pie. I love them. All right, so I am just going to let me actually bring this over here so I can have my palette. Oh, my squeaky chair! Sorry, guys, squeaky, squeaky. Someday, someday, I'll end up with with a non-squeaky chair. All right, so we're talking about friends. So what do we do? Um, what I was going to talk about is, you know, a lot of times, what do we do when we get in really high pain? We isolate, right? We don't want anybody to see us. We're miserable. We're just, it's not going well. Well, one of the things you have to do with your friends, and um, if you don't, they, they're not going to fully understand but one of the things you really need to do is you need to show your friends that pain. Now that sounds awful. It's like, well, they don't want to see me suffering. You're right. They probably don't. But if you want them to understand what is happening to your body and why you say no to, you know, six out of ten things, they have to see it. Okay? 
And, you know, I'm going to extend that. That's not just your friends either. Your family's got to see the same thing. If you're constantly saying, no, I can't make it to the barbecue, they're just going to think, what the heck is up with her? You know, why is she never coming? They've got to be able to see the pain. They need to see the difficulty. They need to see how hard it is for you to, um, you know, do that, to make that trip, to, you know, sit there and, and you know, they've got to see it. So it sounds like I'm, I feel like I'm like getting, ugh, but you know what? If they don't see it, they don't understand. And the, if you want them to understand, you have to show them. All right. That I have learned. That's something I have learned. And let me tell you, it's not easy. Um, okay. Let me just give you an example. I've been with Gina when I have been in an extreme amount of pain, but you know what? She gets it. She understands. And when I say, Gina, you know, I, I can't right now, she's like, okay, I get it, I get it, go take care of yourself, which she would say that anyways, because that's just, you know, how sweet she is. But, um, you know, you really have to show people the down and dirty, and that's the only way I can describe it, okay? I just want to kind of blend this a little bit, if I can. It's I'm very light, so it's not going to blend a whole lot, but... All right, now I want to take, I've got some white here, and my white is, I think, almost dead. Yeah, it's almost dead. It's like icky. Um, all right, I just want to take some of this white here. Let's grab a stencil or two, huh? Oh, let's see what we've got in the stencil pile today. I really like this stencil. It's one of my favorites. And this is, you guys have seen this on, you know, my channel for my other videos. This is how I, um, oh, I like that one. That one's kind of cool. This is how I do my stencils. I just put them in these little 6x6 six six sleeves. And then I just pull a bunch out and see what I like. That one's really pretty, too. Um, and then this is how I use them. Mm -mm. All right, that's good. Those two are good. And then what I do is I put this clump in the back so that I refresh, basically refresh my stencils. Ooh, that's really sticky. You know what? I've got an extender medium right here. Let's throw a little bit of that in there. Why not? And I'll stir it around. Stir it, stir it, stir it. So like I said, you know, you can't, you can't hide it from them. And that is if you really want them to understand what you're going through and really understand that, you know, the reasons why you have to say no. The reasons, I don't think that did anything to that, but that's all right. It doesn't matter. Um, so you've got to, you just, you have to let them know. You have to show them. Let's start out with this big one. I like this. And we're just going to do real light. I don't want real... Yeah. So um, another thing you can do with your friends like this is take them with you to an appointment. Um, let them see the MRI. Let them see the x-rays. Um, let them ask questions to the doctor. You know, I'm talking about close friends. I'm not talking about, you know, somebody you met three days ago. I'm talking about people that you want to remain in your life and that want to understand what you're going through okay like I said this is not about oops that one came out real bright um, this is not about you know the lady you met at the craft class and you know three days ago you, that's not what it's about okay um, you know some of these rules that I'm rules <laughs> my rules <laughs> some of these things that I'm talking about um, also go for the family you know you can um, show your family just as well as you can show you know your friends show your family that you know this is the pain I get in and the more you show them and share with them normally they understand especially if it's you know um, somebody that's around you every day and sees the pain that you go through and they see the hardships and they see you, you know, um, curl up on the couch and cry. 
you know usually um, when you when you take them with you to that appointment and you show them or let them talk to the doctor um, normally they get quite a good understanding as to what's going on I kinda like this I like the way this is going I still need more here and there but um, I like it so um, like I said don't be shy show them talk to them share with them um, you know ask them is there anything that you know you need to know that I haven't told you find out I like it I love it this stencil is wet so we're just gonna throw it over here all right I'm gonna dry this up actually before I do guess what I didn't put any art guard on today oh well I just want to I like these lines here I'm just gonna play a little bit playing and I'm just gonna mess up some of my things I don't think I like that that's all right still gonna do it <laughs> um all right so where am I let them see the high pain days let them understand um, make them aware of what they can do to help you you know um, I I have asked you know friends of mine hey you know is there any way possible you could do this and you know what they say nine times out of ten absolutely you know you know what do you need da, 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 da. and they'll do it for you um, you know and like I said that goes again for your family as well I mean my father-in-law just an example lives about 12 miles from me during the summer and here I don't think it was this summer but last summer um, I really needed to get groceries really bad and my husband was really busy and I'm like all right so I planned a day and I you know called my father-in-law and I said hey listen I gotta go grocery shopping um, they will put the cut you know they will put everything um, carry out they'll do a carry out for me and I want to know if when I get home if there's any way you can come down and bring the groceries in absolutely not a problem you know so there are people out there that will understand and there are people that in your family that will help you um, do I do that every time absolutely not that was just a you know this is what I need how can you help me at this point um, so he was really really good about it he's like yeah not a problem he came down and you know helped me bring in the groceries and and did what I needed done that day so you know sometimes you just you have to reach out you hate to I know you're all going oh I don't like asking for help I know I am one of the most independent people you probably meet I don't like asking for help and I'll tell you it has this chronic pain has humbled me to the point where you know what I need help <laughs> and there's nothing I can do about it I can't um, you know I, I can't do everything myself anymore it's just it's not possible and difficult that's a very very difficult adjustment to make I get it I understand so when you're sitting there shaking your head I'm not gonna ask anybody for help then you're causing more harm for yourself your body your mental your um, entire situation by being um, independent you know we, we have to have help and that's just when you're a chronic pain person that's just part of life it's part of life is accepting that yes we need help yes we have to put ourselves you know on the back burner at time or I'm sorry um, put our humble our what do you, what do you want to call it what's the word I'm looking for I can't hear you guys come on tell me um, we have to put it aside and we have to understand that you know what sometimes we just have to ask and it's not fun I agree I totally agree it's not fun I want to dry this up a little bit and then I'm gonna come through probably with the stencil again because 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 yeah, I'm just kinda alright let me dry this up real quick and I'll be right back alright so I'm just gonna play here for a second with my um, yeah boy I'm losing words today that's another thing with chronic pain. Um, I think a lot of it is the medications that you're on. You're, you, 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 you can't remember anything <laughs> to the point. I've got to write it all down because if I don't write it down, 
it's either not happening or you're going to have to remind me or, you know, it's too funny. But anyways, so, so yeah, you, you need to share to a certain extent um, with those friends. Now, another thing that happens, and we all know it, you know, before pre-chronic pain, um, you know, you were asked to go to the movies, you were asked to go hang out with the girls, you were asked, hey guys, you know, we're talking about blah, 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 blah. And all of a sudden, you're having to say no, 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 okay? I hate to say it, but you know what? It's okay to say no. You have to take care of your body. You are your first priority, and I don't like that white, so let's get a different white here. Um, you, you are your first priority, and you have to take care of you and your body. So, saying no is okay. Now, with the friends, the one thing that you can um, talk with your friends about, though, is, you know, even though I say no, that doesn't mean I like to be forgot about, you know? And that happens, um, especially when you get to the point where, you know, you're saying no because you know, you just know, my body, I can't do that. It's going to cause me more pain than the enjoyment is worth. And I think that's another issue that um, people in chronic pain tend to ignore is the fact that, well, I'm going to live life and I'm going to do what I want to do and, and I'm, I'm going to, you know, this, that, and the other thing. Well, that's fine, but do you really, is that memory or is that activity that you're going to do um, worth some of the extreme pain that it puts you in? I'll be honest, the first couple of years I was in this chronic pain journey, I'm like, you know what, I'm going to do it, I don't care. And the pain, it just, it got to the point where I couldn't do it anymore. So you have to think about that too, and you have to make your friends aware of that. You know, it's not that I, I don't want to, my heart wants to, but my body's telling me it's not going to happen. So, you know, that's that's another issue. Um, now, also with your friends, I don't, guys. I'm just, I'm just playing around on this. I hope you guys know that. I'm just having a blast. Um, now, with your friends, that right there is what we talked about: not being invited. Make them aware that you know what. Even though I may have to say no, please don't forget me. You know, and and even if they, hey, you know, this is what we're thinking about doing, you know, would you be able to? And I'm really sorry, I can't. And it can be something as simple as going out to lunch. And I've done that. I've told my friends, I'm like, you know, um, a certain amount of people meet like on a Friday at a lunch spot, which is about half an hour from me. And there's times I just can't do it. I just cannot take that ride. I can't. It. To go to lunch, yes, it would be great to go to lunch and see my friends. Sometimes it's just not worth the pain, if that makes sense. And I'm sure it does to everybody in chronic pain. So, um, like I said, ask to be not forgotten. And once you do that, and once you make that aware um, to your friends, they're going to be like, oh, okay, I get it. I get it. Now... This is all wet with icky paint, so we're just going to move that aside. I've got some little friends here. Now, you're going to recognize who's who on this, right? First of all, there's a couple heads. All right, uh, this one I want on here. Here's one girl. Ta-da! Isn't she cute? These are um, dilution stamps. Here's another girl. Ta-da! And I'm going to cut these out right better. And who's this? <laughs> I love it. This is a Daniel Torrenti stamp. And um, this one is, you know, this is what I feel like a lot of days. <laughs> this is one of those stamps that um, you're like, ugh. This is what I felt like yesterday, too. I'll tell you, the pain is just... Um, we're getting a lot of rain here, and it's just... It hurts. <laughs> I don't know any other way to put it other than it hurts. <laughs> So this is my sitting in my chair. I don't really need an umbrella, but yeah, we'll leave it on her just because. 
So, you know, what else can you think of that you can, how, how can, how else can you, you know, let your friends know and still spend that quality time with your friends, yet not cause the extra pain. Now, one of the things that um, my one, she's actually my best friend, um, what we do is every once in a great while we might go out shopping, um, but not, I'm talking maybe twice a year now. Uh, instead, you know, I've got to cut that. I can't not cut that. So we're going to poke a hole here. You guys are seeing all my fussy cuts. Yeah, there we go. Um, so now what we do is we just have create days and she comes here and um, we we can chit chat. I have my ice machine readily available, which is I'm sitting on it right now. Um, my ice machine is available. We, you know, we'll order in a pizza for lunch or, you know, order a couple subs and just, and we hang out and create. And she loves making cards. So, you know, I've been teaching her a little bit here and there about different um, techniques and, you know, embossing and, you know, that kind of stuff, die cutting and all that. And we still have quality time, quality friend time. We just do it in a different way. Isn't she cute? <laughs> I love her. Um, so we just do it in a different way. And we're still, I mean, I can still tell her anything. And we can still share that bond that we have. We just, we do it in a different way. So maybe, you know, what if, you know, maybe your friend doesn't have the time to come over. Maybe they're, you know, raising a family, this, that, and the other thing. What about, um, you know, doing a Google Hangout with them or Skyping with them or, you know, picking up a, a, a journal and writing a letter to them and mailing it to them and then have them write a letter to you and mail it back? Why not? That would just be so cool. And, and let... Let them still be, you know, a, an important part of your life without blocking them out. You can do it. I mean, it, it's, it's doable. You just have to search for other ways to do things. And we've talked about that before. You know, I did a can and cannot. Yeah, I had a comment about I was very optimistic. Well, yeah, I am because I don't want to live in the negative and I want to be able to enjoy my life. I mean, I don't want to just curl up on the couch and just turn into a, you know, TV zombie. That's just, that's not who I am. So, yes, I'm optimistic. Yes, I feel that there is a way to do everything we want to do. Maybe not everything, okay? Maybe I'm stretching that a little bit. But what is pure to your heart and what you really enjoy, um, there's always different ways to do it. Let me just give you an idea. Like, let's say I'm going to take gardening, for instance. My sis, I used to love plants. No, I can't say that. I used to love working in the garden and just playing in the flowers and that kind of thing. Well, now my sister does it for me. So I still get the ability to enjoy the flowers. Um, and when she's here and she's working in the flower beds, I can go out and hang out on the back porch and chat with her. We've had some really cool conversations while she's playing around in the flower bed. Um, you know, there's there's other ways. Le okay, you don't have a sister nearby or, you know, you don't have someone in your family that would do that for you. Okay, what about um, going on Amazon and getting a real nice um, book about flowers? Maybe learn a little bit more about them. How about um, next time you go out stopping at a home and garden center and just wandering through and seeing what's new and seeing what's good. What about having your um, your spouse or your significant other, what about having them make a raised bed for you? They're not that difficult to do. So see what I'm saying? There's always another way to enjoy an aspect of our life that we think we have lost. All right, let me... There they are. I want to dry this up really good so I can start gluing stuff down and I'll be right back. All right, guys. Remember I told you I had a surprise? I'm really excited. I am going to give away 
<gasps> and we need to thank Blue Mountain Arts for these. Not one, not two, but three of these books. Um, I contacted Blue Mountain Arts and I explained to them what I was doing and asked them if, if, if there's possible that I could get any to give away. And they were so generous. They didn't send me just one. They sent me three. I'm so excited! So what I'm going to do is, um, I'm not going to do them all on one video, okay? I am going to give one away on this video. And you'll have to keep your eyes out for the next two coming up because um, we will do a giveaway there as well. And what I'd like you to do is I just want you to put a comment in the box below. And what I'd like you to do is just tell me if this series is allowing you to rethink things and if it's helping you to make some positive changes in your life. That's all I really want to know. And I... I the reason I'm asking this is because I have so many more ideas of what I want to do on the chronic pain spectrum and um, I don't want to put a ton of work into these if it's not something that's going to help you and, and, and that's what my entire goal is. I want to help you guys get through this with what I've experienced and what I've learned. I am not a professional. I am not a counselor. I am just sharing with you my experiences of living a normal daily life to one with chronic pain. So um, I'm really excited. So I'm going to do a random drawing on this. I can't really give you a date because I'm not positive what day this video is going to come out, but um, I will say it will be a week later. I will do a random draw on the comments and you will receive your copy of You Are Stronger Than You Know, Words of Hope and Encouragement for Someone Living in Chronic Illness. How cool is that? I'm so excited. <laughs> I got those and I was just like, yay! So back to what we're doing and what we're talking about today. We're talking about friends. So we're going to put, I dried this up. It's pretty good. We're going to put our friends down. And we're going to use this glue again. And I am going to use this paintbrush. This is like a cheapy thing. Print something made in China. This is one of those that um, the, the bristles kept coming off. So uh, you can see my plier marks. I pinched them. So let's see if it works. All right. So here we are. This is us sitting here in chronic pain, right? Here we are. We're going to sit right there. Now, this, my dear, is our friends. And let me get her head. Get back here, you. Go walk here. All right, this is one of our friends, and we are going to put her right here. She's down. She's a little cockeyed. That's all right. My friends are cockeyed. How about yours? If you're doing mixed media art, yeah, we're all cockeyed. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Please don't send me any hate mail. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> oh, goodness. So here's another friend. And she is going to hang out right here. And there she is. Now, you notice I only have two friends on here, right? The way I feel about it is all those other people that said they were your friend, and where are they now? That's not a friend. That's just my opinion. So let me dry these up, and I'll be right back. All right, so what I've got out here is I've got my Dilution. Um, this is Dilution's. From Diane Reevely, and this one is called The Right Words. It's DYR34520. Um, <clears throat> and I just have a scrap piece of paper here. And what I'm going to do is just ink up my stamp with some stays on ink. Make sure I got it all covered. I probably should shut my paints, huh? And I'm just going to stamp it. Yay! And it says, a friend is someone who knows the song in your heart and can sing it back to you when you have forgotten the words. Right? 
How true is that? So let's throw this back on here. Do, do, do. Yeah, right there. That just drove me crazy. These were all out of sync and it was, I couldn't, I didn't like that. What's going on here? Stick. Stick. All right. So we have this. We have our friends here. Looks like they're levitating, doesn't it? They won't levitate for long. We're going to take care of them. But what I want to do is I just want to... This does not have to be perfect, as none of us are perfect. Doo -doo. But I want it on here. My phone's a pinging. Says something's coming. All right, let's do some more glue. Where'd my glue thing go right here? Of course, Cindy stuck it in the water. Let's get some glue on here. And I did notice that um, when I glued my peoples down here, my friends, that I got some green on it. And you know what? It's okay. It's all good. It's all good. Nana, nana. And I just got some pink on this. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. All right. Let me... All right, so we have our friends on here. We have our friends. This, I'm going to get that out. Um, I want to take some white. I'm actually going to use this dilution white. I'm going to grab a paintbrush. I'm going to flat one. I'm just going to take some of this white. So anyways, I hope you guys, you know, enjoy this series and I'm just having fun doing it. And, you know, I'm just trying to share some of my experiences and what I've gone through living in chronic pain. And, boy, I'll tell you, it's not easy. You know what? I'm going to have to go a little bit further with that. It's just so not easy. You know, another thing, and this is off the subject of friends, but boy, it makes you look at the world a little bit differently, doesn't it? Just going to put some little lines here. Yes, I heard your phone. Phone's like, did you see? Did you see? You got a text. You got a text. Yes, I heard your phone. Do, do, do. So I hope today you'll actually take some time to reach out to a friend or hopefully a friend will reach out to you and say, hey, how you doing? What's going on? Is there anything I can do for you? And you know, another thing is you can do things for friends as well. You know, it may be something as simple as, um, you know, giving them a handmade birthday card or, you know, um, waiting at their house for a plumber to come or you know there's just so many more things that you can do that are not based around um, having to to make a commitment where it's going to physically put you in extreme amounts of pain I think is what I'm trying to say all right so let me dry her up and then I'm going to do some doodling and doodling and then we're going to be done so I will be right back Alright, so I'm going to try to use up some of this leftover here on my palette just to kind of work this in. Because I just got real um, efficient and put all my paints away. A little bit of purple on there, that's okay. I just want to just make it so it's not so white! White! Alright. And if you notice, the white dilution paint that I used on there is sucking up the color from underneath. Just so you guys know that. That was not intentional, but hey, it works for now. Cool. All right, we just put that in. Now I'm going to grab some. This is, this is a no-name Posca. Um, this came from, I think it's the Daiso out in California. Let me get it running again. You 
And my kitty cat thinks it's passion time. Come on. I think it's almost empty. I'm just going to doodle some hearts on these. It's almost empty. What Buster? Did you guys hear my buddy? This is Buster Brown. Whenever I'm recording on a hangout with friends or busy, he thinks that's when it's time for passion. And I'm just doodling this, girls. I'm just having fun. So, you know, don't expect a perfect artwork, especially with this pen. <laughs> I'm having fun. That's all that matters. Buster, I'm busy. You're going to have to wait a minute. He's over here tapping me on the shoulder. i got to tell you, one day I was here in my art room, and it was really quiet. I didn't have any music on or anything. I was just kind of doing some art. And all of a sudden, I felt this tap on my shoulder. Scared the living daylights out of me. I look over, it was him. He reached up and just tapped me on the shoulder. What? He's like, Mama, what are you doing? All right, now I'm going to take an actual Posca. It's been a while since I've used this. I just want to make sure it's juicy and working. And this, see what it's done? The dilution paint, it sucked up all the color underneath. That's okay. We're just going to take it and we're going to go like this. What, buddy? What? You're going to have to wait, Buster. Hi. What's up? So, I hope this guys is this is this um video has given you guys something to think about when it comes to friends and um you know, they need to understand and the only way they're going to understand is if you show them and you share with them and you help them to understand. Because that's the only way it's going to happen. Right now I'm just putting dots on my white lines. Just to put black somewhere else other than below. Buster, stop. He's like going crazy over here. And I know that white's not wet. so Or not dry. Alright. That's it for now because Buster's driving me insane. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Um, don't forget, put a comment in the link below so I can send you your own copy of You Are Stronger Than You Know. Thankful to Blue Mountain Arts. Thank you very much. Um, and as always, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Um, like, share, subscribe. If you know somebody else in chronic pain, share this with them, okay? And as always, have fun. That's what life's all about. And happy creating. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.